Howdy folks, and welcome to 15 Nautical Mile Arc. Today we'll be continuing our flight across northern Minnesota along Canadian border from Roseau to War Road, and then we're going to fly to this little farm airport, uh, 87 Mike, November. Little farm, little private airport, and that's where we'll be landing for the evening. I already talked about Roseau a lot in a previous video, so I'm actually not going to say anything at all. Other than there's Rose on the background, and there's the airport, and that's about it. Let's hop in this plane and get this thing started, and then I'll talk about our flight plan. All right, first things first. Um, if I wanted to use pre-flight elements, I could have had all this stuff open, and, but not today. I'm not going to worry about it today. All right, hide the yoke. Click right there. Well, we need to put our prop lever up, which it already is. Battery master switches are here. Any lighting we need? Who do pytot heat? Our map light, our cabin light, our nav light, and our beacon. Um, instrument lights. Yeah, we'll keep those on. Then we'll have the landing lights until we take off. Actually, we'll turn those on when we do the runway. Alright, we need to pump our lever here. I'm going to pump this until we get in the green up there. So here we go. Pumping, pumping, pumping. Almost there. One more. One more good one. There we go. Alright, then we need to prime three times. Alright, come back up here. Throttle goes up quarter of the way. Toss our mixture up. And let's see, down here we need to turn our gas tank on front. Hit our starter. Tell it go for four seconds. And then here we go. Alright. Not gonna talk too much about this airplane. Um if you watched my previous video, I'm gonna fly to roll though. See that I talk about this at great length. I want to say I love this aircraft. It's my favorite aircraft. It's my go-to aircraft for short flights. Very difficult to land. Um, I don't a lot of the time, not every time. Um, no frame rate issues. I love the sounds. I just love everything about it. I love that it'll start on fire if you're not careful. All those little details. Uh, radios, we'll turn them on. We're not going to use them. So our flight plan today, well, completely VFR. If we were doing VFR in real life, we'd have a chart on our lap or on our iPads or tablets. The next plane, we can just go to local map and then we get our IFR chart right here. Set it to textured. What we're going to do, we're going to take off, follow the train tracks. That train tracks, actually that's power lines. No, it isn't train tracks. Follow the train tracks, follow the train tracks. Just about we get to Lake of the Woods. We'll see the airport turn left, land. And then from there, we'll come south to Erickson. So we'll see the city on the right, airport on the left. And when it comes time to land to Erickson, follow the train tracks, follow the train tracks, follow the train tracks, and then hope for the best because there really isn't anything here to see. We got a few bodies of water. But other than that, just follow the train tracks. Alright, we'll see how this goes. Use this view to get to the taxi way right here. First set of flaps, parking brake off. I'm a little picky here. I'll use this one actually. I'm gonna stay behind the aircraft. Set of flaps. Right. Where is that landing light? This indicator for flaps is very accurate. 
lift says take off, set them to take off if you're landing, set it to landing. If you're doing very, very extreme STOL, you can do full flap, but then it's very, very difficult to control. And then away we go. I don't think I forgot anything. I just to find out. Up a little bit, we do have to mind our engine speed and our props, so we'll have problems. So, flaps to climb. Canada is 10 miles up there. Patch of trees, our wing is touching is in Canada, so that next patch of trees beyond that brown spot, that's Canada. Now that tree line is clear to Canada right there. Alright. Kind of hard to do some sightseeing when you're not using autopilot, but let's get back on come down a little bit already. About a 25 minute drive. Obviously a lot less when you're flying an airplane. Oh, 
traffic down there. Train track, I don't see a train right now, but lots a lot of trains on the train track. instruments approaches but in real life there is an ILS approach to this airport and it's not in the sim. And I modeled this airport. I thought there'd be a way I could put it in the model but I can't. Everybody would have to add it on their own so they can bother. We're actually going to go over town and approach over town. That's the way they approach real life. They just go right over the town. And I know this because I looked up real life flight plans. Regional commercial aircraft that fly here all the time. So that cylinder that's doing. Is it eight? See, nice in the blue. A little below optimum, but doesn't really matter. Anything else in the green? It's best like the woods up there on the left. Experimenting with my videos, some of them I've been talking less, flying more, other than I'm talking more, explaining every detail. Some of them I do not explain the common details. But you know, the issue is not everybody wants to do videos, so some people want those details. And I'm assume that they don't, so let me know what you think in the comments if you want more details, less than fewer details. I don't know, I assume I'm like, everybody's going to want all different things, I guess. Might be a silly question, dangerous question to ask, but I don't know. Kind of have a mix when I watch my favorite YouTubers. Sometimes I'm like, just try and get going, you know. But then other times I'm thinking, man, I wish you had more detail in what you were doing. So maybe I shouldn't worry about it. Right now I should be worried about finding this report, which is right after the left. Runway. Very tricky to see because of the angle of the runway. It's there. Right along that highway to the road trees. You see there? Well, that's the town of War Road. Big campground on the north side. Along the, wood, along the lake. Downtown is in the right place. It's all auto gen by the way, but it's pretty accurate. The neighborhood's in the right place, downtown's in the right place. The only difference would be this campground that probably is a model. Some fancy restaurants along the lake. There's a runway. We'll just kind of go right along the lake here. Lake Shore is the runway. Alright, the woods can you see across at this altitude. slow down so I'm going to fly in pretty full speed until we get really close. Town again. That's pretty cool view. I'm thinking 
about sightseeing is I supposed to be flying there. Oh, see? It's too busy looking at the scenery. Picked up speed too. Alright. Get flaps in a second, gotta watch the balloony. Let's see if I can give this up bounce and I bounced on my last video, which was aircraft. But before that I had a bounce in about six months, so let's see what happens. You have to land at stall speed with vertical descent of ten feet per minute or less. So there's twenty, there's ten. down the runway, but he didn't even hear the wheel squeak. So, I don't know, what do you think of that? Alright, we'll stop here and check out the replay of the landing. Parking brake. Well, let's go back here. Little more. Let's see what view do you want to use? So we use this one. I guess we don't have to do that far back. Alright. So I mean a bit long, but I knew it wasn't the uh, runway. I was carrying way more about a smoother landing than a short landing. Look at that. Didn't even hear a peep. Uh, let's see what the runway view looks like. View that's three. Oh. Yeah, that was kind of useless. It's kind of a long way to go. There's not really a tower here, but I see you in the background. Wow. I landed so far down that runway, some runways aren't even that long. But like I said, I was aiming for smoothness. Not really distance. Nice. All right. Let's go back to real time here. Get the banner runway and head towards Ericsson. I 
any fight like you had ever seen in real life. And if you check out my video on that, I talked about that airplane at length too. Is my rear wheel even touching the ground? Kind of funny. Yeah, it is. Just the shadow makes it look like it's not. Alright, this was a fun airport to build. It's my second one I built. There really is a giant hangar there in real life. Alright, let's hop back in and head to Ericsson. Now, as I was saying, there's no instrument approach to these other airports. Basically, we're just going to fly low and follow the train tracks and head toward those three little bodies of water. If you can't find it, we'll pull up a local map. Some people call that cheating, but in real life we would have a VFR map on our lake, so not a big deal to me. Alright, flaps set, everything set. We also have our lights on from before, I believe. Yep, so we'll just keep it there, better pay attention, huh? And away we go. Flaps in. Props are already set from before. Let's just get out of here. Four passengers. Always funny to look at these views. Minnesota, a whole lot of nothing. This is exactly what it looks like, too. Alright, um. Let's pull up our VFR map and see where we're going here. I don't want to spend all day lost. Alright, so we're just going to follow these train tracks. Should be a road there, too, huh? Let's go. Yeah, I'll just turn tracks right in and show them up. One of those tracks. Can you see the blue bodies of water in these trees? And then try to focus on those bodies of water in the trees. Talking about the cylinder head temp right there. 
take much to cool down, but it doesn't take much to start on fire either. Left traffic here, so we're in the same time zone to top. More road sure didn't take long to get out of there, did it? So, yeah, the local map very local because as you can see the distance looked quite a bit on the map but really they're already right there and that big blue patch of water is just this patch of water right there so yeah need to um need to rely on it for VFR not for flight planning you can't plan it change tires after the airport, put on my tundra tires, so uh, it's too late now. Another temperature doing it. Yeah. Tundra fuel. Good. Alright. At the airport there's no traffic, we can spy the building. Definitely want a traffic pattern. A bunch of trees here, but they don't show up. One of those houses that I get really close. I wish it was because I'm Sally and spoke the cows. There you go, see the trees kicking. Now I have to worry about landing in the right spot and not caring about smoothness. I just need to land. Since we have about half the runway here. Oh, there's no bounce. Although I've watched bush flies will likely bounce all over the place. They come in hard and fast and just bounce to a stop. We'll try to avoid that. We'll try to be as smooth as possible. And as close to the end of this as I can. No power, no power, no power, don't stall. Oh, that's like the worst bounce ever. There we go. Don't want a ground loop, don't want a ground loop, don't ground loop. Oh, we got a ground loop. No, perfect. Good. Well, I was the opposite. I landed in a good spot, but it bounced all over the place. 
Oh, there's a wind sock there. So why do they bounce? They bounce because they came in, well, not only too fast, but... I was doing worse than I was doing worse than ten feet per minute descent. We gotta be we really got to um be at ten. Let's get bumps. Alright, can't pop this thing. Cut the radio, don't need any stuff. Oh no, no, we don't need anything. We're done, we're out of here. Take, take, take off. Batteries off. Door open. Can I get to the door from here? Nope, gotta do this one. Um, left passenger door. Pre-fight elements. Alright, let's have a look. We'll look at the landing in a second. So there it is. Back to cold and dark. Let's check out this airport a second. Okay, a couple houses, some storage sheds, basketball hoop. All right, let's check out that landing. A nice bounce. Coming in too soft, I need to slam them to the ground, right? Let's see what runway view looks like on that. If there is one. Runway view is usually three. There we go. Oof. Well, at least I didn't do the notorious bounce install. And what I mean by that is, most complaints of this aircraft, what's happening is you. Land near stall speed, you bounce, but then you're bouncing below stall speed, so you crash basically. And um, very difficult to get your flaps in. Otherwise, there you have it. Oh yeah, my everything turned off because I was in the air. There we go. Now we're done. Now we're set. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you like the videos, please subscribe. Any suggestions you have, leave in the comments section below. Any constructive criticisms, please leave those as well. I can't get better if I don't know what you want. I know what I want, but that's not what everybody else wants. So, we'll leave it at that, and we'll see you next time.